I take a lot of pride in working for Temple University. We were founded in 1884. We're now at about 39,000 students. And so I enjoy coming to work every day. And I especially like succeeding at my job, which is keeping the network operational. On any given day, we've got 75,000 devices connected to the network. Most of them are browsing the internet. We've on the wireless network alone, we've got about 35,000 devices connected. The internet is a dangerous place nowadays. You don't want to be a victim to all the things that go on out there. So it's important that you have a proper security infrastructure and organization that can respond to the threats. Uh, that's a very tough challenge in higher ed because higher ed is known for its open networks. It's open, known for its unpatched systems and it's known to have a lot of student data. Uh, or data that I should say that most hackers would want to have. Temple University is a R1 research institution, which means that we need equipment that can protect that research here at the university. So it's very important to us to have the right technology in place, the right tools that we can protect not only the academic side of the environment, but we can protect the research side of the environment. When we went out to market to look for a new firewall, one of our critical factors we were looking at is, is, is it really an old platform doing the same old thing, IP-based, or is the vendor we're selecting and the platform we're selecting really next generation? And that's what we really found with Palo Alto Networks, is that it's not the same old world, I can figure IP addresses and block things, but there's tools and there's updates and there's uh, enhancements and features. We're running the threat prevention part, URL filtering. One of our initiatives was also to remove some other appliances that we had had on our network that were dropping things like BitTorrent and peer-to-peer -peer file sharing out towards the internet. So one of the first things that we implemented with AppID on the Palo Alto Networks platform was uh, to stop outbound BitTorrent related traffic. And so we used AppID to do that. The implementation went extremely well. I was watching very closely because new platform, new system, you never know what's going to happen. I sort of expected a bump or two along the way and the implementation went better than I anticipated. We were able to very quickly cut over from our old infrastructure into the new Palo Alto Network um, infrastructure. So we worked with Palo Alto Network's service account manager to help us get through the implementation phase of the work. And that's really where we see this partnership, is they're at the table with us. I treat them no differently than any of my other employees. They sit at the table, they give us the same suggestions, and they're valued just like an employee is sitting at the table. When you have an enterprise-sized network and you have lots of firewalls installed, a service account manager is really going to be the person who's inside the company who's looking out for you. Uh, and yeah, that that person can proactively open up tickets for you and look for the pitfalls that you might not know about. Uh, and so having that person as a member of your team uh, is very beneficial. Now that we have the, the Palo Alto Networks firewall platforms in place, uh, we have a lot more stability uh, than we had in the past. So this stability gives us the ability more now to focus on securing the network rather than just maintaining uh, the firewall platforms. We still have all the firewall rules and things that we need to do, but the complication that we were seeing before in our environment, all that is much, much more simplified at this point. So when we you know, found the Palo Alto Network's security platform and put it in place, it did just work.